Hi, good morning. I have no makeup on. I'm basically in my pajamas um, with a whole lot of groceries in my back seat. Um, but I, I kept feeling compelled today to um, put out there our devotion this morning that I did with my kids. So every morning, every morning we pull over like in a random parking lot. Um, hey Daniel Hicks. Um, we pull over in a random parking lot and, um, we do our devotion before I drop them off in Carline. And so this is our devotion. Okay. It's our daily bread for kids. Um, it's so good. It's so good. Like we've done a lot of devotionals over the years. Um, and some of them are, blah, but like this one's really good. It, um, it just gives them something to talk about for the day. And it has like a little fun fact and like the fun fact sometimes is really lame, but like they really look forward to it. They're like, where's, what's our fun fact for the day, mom? And so sometimes it's lame but sometimes it's really good. Um, but today it was about, um, sparrows and I don't know if you know anything about s sparrows. I did not until this morning. Um, but sparrows are actually the most common bird in the world. Like, um, they're everywhere. There's like gazillions of sparrows. They're on almost every continent. They're just like this little brown bird and they are the most common. They're actually like at the top of the Empire State Building, State Building, State Building. They're at the top of that and they're in like mines, like deep mines in England. Like they're everywhere, these sparrows. And, um, there's this passage in the book of Matthew. If you're a worrier, if you're a worrier, then you probably know the passage pretty well because Jesus is talking about, um, do not worry. Do not worry about your life, what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink. Like the Lord knows that you need those things. And then he says, he says birds in some translations, but apparently the word is sparrows. He's talking about sparrows. And he says, um, even the sparrows, God cares for every sparrow. Even the sparrow is cared for by God. And he says, how much more does your heavenly father care about you? If he cares for every single sparrow. Uh, and I, I was really struck by that today because I think that we live in a world where like there are a lot of people that we kind of look at like they're sparrows like i mean sadly we don't we don't really care about them we don't care about them we don't look at them like they matter like they are important like god can do something with their life like i, I think we do that but i think that also there are a whole lot of people in this world that look at themselves as a sparrow like i'm a nobody i'm a nobody i'm just this uh, you know, what does God care? What does God care about? Like, it sure doesn't feel like it. Right. Um, I think that we all go through things where we feel like, um, if there's struggle and there's suffering and like this world is so difficult and so hard that that must mean that God doesn't care about me, but that's actually not the truth. Um, there's so much suffering in this world and there's so much hardship and yet, and yet the Lord God, how much more does he care for each one of us, each one of you? Um, if he cares about a little sparrow, you know, Jesus says like, he knows every hair on your head, right? He knows every hair on your head. And I told the kids this morning, I was like, you know, your hair falls out every day. Like people lose hair every day. It just falls out. It's all over my kitchen. My kitchen, my, um, bathroom sink. Like when I come, it just falls out. And yet like God keeps track of that. He keeps track of that. Um, that is how sovereign and big and all knowing God is. And so I, I just wanted to encourage you. I think I'm, I'm sure I'm encouraging myself today too, because we all need it. And sometimes we just, we're talking to ourselves, right? But, um, God really cares. Like, he really cares about what is going on. And that doesn't mean that life is easy. 
um, and that all the roads are straight and clear. But um, he says over and over in scripture that he is beside you, that he is, he goes ahead of you to prepare a way for you, that he's behind you, um, that he's got your back. Like, I mean, there is, there, there's scripture after the whole, all of this, all of this book, like is about the story of God wanting to be with his people and wanting to, to show his people that he's talking, that he's speaking to them. So, um, just know that today, if you're in a place where you feel like a nobody or you feel like a sparrow, you feel like, well, there's a gazillion people and I'm just one of them. Um, no, you're not just one of them. You're an important, vital part of the world. And God wants to do something mighty uh, with you. So, um, if you don't feel like that, just know that um, I think that of you. I tend to be a person that uh, does friend to get ins um, pretty consistently. Um, <laughs> that's what I call um, Armageddon of my Facebook because I tend to defriend people, not in a mean way, just like I, if I don't really know you, like if I wouldn't recognize you in Walmart, then I'm probably going to defriend you because like I wouldn't even recognize you in Walmart, right? Or like I, I don't accept friend requests easily. So if you are watching this and you're my friend, like know that that was intentional. That was intentional because um, Jesus loves you and I love you and I care about you and I see something in you that I respect or that I enjoy, that um, I treasure and um, that I think highly of. And so um, just know that and know that um, you have a friend in me as, did I just quote Toy Story? I did quote Toy Story. You have a friend in me, people. So, um, go be a sparrow in your life because sparrows are important and you are important. Have a great day.